in Santa Monica at the beach. It's 7 a.m. At this point, I've been biking pretty consistently, like at least half an hour, three to four times a week. And so today, I'm gonna mix it up. I think I need to intensify my rides, so. on the beach. That's probably the most LA thing I've ever done, but it was really fun. And it gave me a good idea of how I can make my bike rides more intense. I burned 250 calories in 45 minutes. So that's actually pretty comparable to like a 45 minute bike ride. So that's good to know. Um, but a few things that I learned, I guess the, it's really fun to have an instructor and to have the music. I wonder if there's like a ride along class I could do or like maybe just find a good playlist would help to like ramp up my rides because they've been getting just a little repetitive. So maybe adding music. Also, I really loved that she emphasized focusing on um, your core, engaging your core, which is something I don't do too often. My arm is getting tired from holding the camera, so maybe I need to incorporate some push-ups into my uh, fitness journey. But it was really cool, fun class, and it was nice to be at the beach early. There were, weren't too many people here. It was therapeutic, and it's just nice to have someone cheering you on. Like, yeah, okay, I'm out of breath walking in the sand. I'm feeling pretty good about week three, so I'm optimistic about my weight. Moment of truth. So my week three weight is 116, which is pretty good. I'm happy with that. That means I've lost 2.4 pounds total. And since the first week was almost a wash because I ate a lot. I was basically on vacation. I lost about two pounds week two and two pounds week three, which means I'm on track for my goal by week six. So if I keep it up two more pounds per week, which is like the healthy rate anyway, then I should be at a 10 pound loss by the end of week six. So hopefully I can stick to it. Well, my car was totaled. Luckily, no one was hurt, but it really sucks. <laughs> I have no car and the car market is pretty bad right now. So we're basically going to go zero emissions this week. We've actually been meaning to do that. We wanted to try a week of no car usage and only using our e-bikes. So I guess this is the perfect time to test that out. I am glad that I've been biking regularly and I've like built up my stamina because now it's really gonna be put to the test. We don't really drive too much. We work from home, so it's mainly going to be running errands, going to the post office, going grocery shopping. That's when I'll need to use my bike and lucky that we have the e-bikes because it's perfect for errands like that. Yeah, until we get a car, I guess we're e-biking. Day one without a car. So we are taking our e-bikes to go grocery shopping. And I guess the silver lining is that I'll have to be really selective with what I purchase because I have limited rack space for my groceries so I can't can't buy junk food um, but we're heading to Trader Joe's because they have all the fun 
items, um, but I am going to make healthy choices. I'm not going to try, I am going to make healthy choices. So, let's go. secure it and the test will be whether or not the eggs break so we'll see if it's a smooth ride or not okay moment of truth no cracked eggs day two without a car so we're biking to a coffee shop to do some work. I can't believe how hot it is so early in the day. We like to work here because it's fun to people watch. And I'm just more productive when I get out of the house. Day three without a car, going on a post office run. going on a target run. At least I get to exercise while I'm running around. It's our anniversary and normally we would go out to a nice dinner, but we don't have a car because of the car accident. We're not gonna let that stop us though. We have our e-bikes, so we decided to just e-bike to our dinner reservation. I have my big purse, so I have everything in here that I'll need. We have our reflective vests, because I think it might start getting dark on the way back. Bike locks, I have shoes to change into, because I'm biking in just my vans, and I have my bike shorts on <laughs> under my dress. So, I think we're ready to go. I also packed deodorant in case I get sweaty. The good thing is that at least we'll be burning a little bit of calories on the way there. It's not that far, but we'll burn some calories so I don't have to feel so guilty because I know that this is gonna be a pretty carb heavy meal. It's my cheat meal. We really enjoyed the meal, but we spent the whole time a little nervous that the bikes weren't gonna be here when we got back. But they're here. The sun is starting to set, so we are going to wear our reflective vests. I have pink, and Nate has yellow, greenish neon. Do I look as cool as I feel? I like the best. Now I just need some lights, a bell, and basically every accessory. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss episode four. In the next episode, I'm going to name my bike and accessorize my bike and I'm going to reward myself for my progress so far. So basically a lot of shopping. So tune in, see you next time. Don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.